Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Connie. So how is everybody doing? I'm doing good. It's a rainy, cool Wednesday evening here and I got a Timu haul that I wanted to show. So I'm going to do my earrings first, my jewelry. So I got these little sunflower earrings here, like that. And these were 71 cents. And this is what they look like. Of course, they make them look bigger, don't they? Okay. And the next ones I got were these star and moon earrings. And uh, these look like <laughs> I got them together here. Uh, they're really pretty. They're small, but they're pretty. Well, there we go. They look like that. Aren't they pretty? And these were $1.78, and they look like this. They do look bigger in the picture, though, don't they? And the stone is a lot uh, bluer. Yeah. But they're still pretty, aren't they? Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Alrighty, and my next pair of earrings I got are some snow cones, ice cream cones, not snow cones, <laughs> ice cream cones, aren't they cute, let's see if I can do this here, I'll just show one, see, they're cute, and those were 68 cents, and they're cute too, cute, I like those a lot. And then the other pair I got are called Rainy Cloud Drop Earrings. And they're hard to show the way they really look. But this girl, she's got a pair on. See how they look? The cloud is on the outside and the raindrops are behind your earlobe. There we go. But here is, uh, here's a pair. Let's see here. I wanted to see the how they look in the ear. But they are so cute. And those I paid $1.69. Okay, and then my last piece of jewelry is this ring, which it's sold out. All, um, but you know they sell out now lately so quick and if they send you an email telling you it's back in stock you better jump on it because it'll be gone before you even answer your email <laughs> but look at this ring I love this ring it is so pretty but yeah it's sold out and I paid a dollar thirty four for that ring love it Okay, well, that was it for my jewelry. So, okay. Well, and then I got this here. It is a 25 pieces of um, stones, different stones from all over the world. I got this for my great nephew. He has a birthday coming up in June. And he loves anything that, that deals with nature, stones, rocks. And it comes in a case. And I'll tell you a couple, a few of these stones. There is a citrine in there, a smoky quartz, moonstone, uh, a rose quartz, uh, garnet. So that's kind of neat. I think you'll like it a lot. And I paid a dollar forty-eight. Alrighty, and let's see. Then I got these zap. Uh, solar powered bug zappers and I got it comes in a box of two the reason I got these is where I live the mosquitoes are absolutely horrible they are terrible especially in the summertime when it's like being 90 95 100 degrees outside during the day well in the evening when it cools down I love going outside I got a little table out there with some chairs under my crepe myrtle tree but the mosquitoes they just love me <laughs> and I get so many bites so I thought I would try these um, and they're good quality they're heavy you know they're powered by the Sun 
So hopefully these will work. Now this is most I've ever paid for anything on Team U. I paid uh what did I pay eleven eleven dollars and ninety eight cents and get two of them. So hopefully hopefully they'll work. We'll find out soon. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna put them outside by my little table. So I love going out there in the evenings and sitting and you know having a iced tea and and watching m videos on my tablet. So hopefully these will work. And if they do, I might buy two more. Put them all away around the table. <laughs> Alrighty. And another thing that I got to keep the bugs and stuff down. I know a lot of people probably won't like this, but this is a wasp and a yellow jacket catcher. And once you do, the bottom of it comes off. But well, anyway, it screws off. And you put sweet something sweet in there. Anything, bees like anything sweet. And, you know, you could put a little bit of soda, Coke in there, or a, a honey, jelly, anything that's sweet. And the bees fly in it, and they can't get back out. Because when you're allergic to bees the way that I am, and it's dangerous, uh... Because when I get stung, yes, I have a, a pen that I carry with me 24-7. But I still have to go to the hospital. And it's no fun. It's scary. And I don't like getting stung. And this is what it looks like. I just wanted to show you. But, yeah, it, it, ain't, it ain't no fun getting bee stung. And they have to pump you full of Benadryl and epinephrine and... You have to get monitored, and yeah. So, I got this. And if it works, I will buy another one and put it on the other side. Because I go out on my carport. They love my carport because it's old wooden. And they like to get up in it and build nests. And um, go outside and they're flying around your head. And I got I had one fly down my shirt and sting me. And I had to rush. They had to rush me to the hospital. So, but anyway, this one I paid uh two twenty eight and if it works like I said I will buy me another one I'm putting this up tomorrow this is going up tomorrow <laughs> alrighty and this here I uh, I am so unhappy with it I cannot believe this is as small as it is I I'm disappointed I am so disappointed I should have got the the bigger one, but I didn't. And I went with the small one, and it was the same price. Well, no, I paid two dollars and eighty nine cents. I'm just looking, guys. I wanted to see if they even told the measurements of this thing. Let's see. Well, anyway, this is what it is. It is a hummingbird feeder. They made it look so cute. They made it look a lot bigger than what it is. And I don't even see the... It won't even... It don't even give you the measurements on this one. Nope. Well, anyway. This thing is so little. Look at my hand. I have small hands. I, I have fat hands and they're small. But... Guys, I paid two dollars and forty-eight cents for this. What? And it's only got one little feeder on it for the hummingbirds. But I'm gonna hang it up anyway. I bought it, so I'm gonna use it. But I'm just very, very disappointed. And it is such. It is that cheap plastic like they have at the Dollar Tree. And I paid two dollars and forty-eight cents. No, I'm. I'm not happy. I am not happy. I should have bought the other one. But anyway, that's my fault. My fault. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. And my last item is... Okay. You can't really... It's hard to show it. It's a shirt. It's another t-shirt. I do like the shirt. I got a lot of compliments on my butterfly shirt. But I'll show you the front of this shirt. Let me move this stuff around. Okay. 
it says made in the 60s guys i can't tell you how many times i had this in my cart i went to check out and it was gone so when it came back i jumped on it because i've been wanting this t-shirt this is what it looks like and i love it i absolutely love it because you know i was born in 61 and i've seen them made in the 70s made in the 80s made in the 90s and it's so cute and i love their their t-shirts this is 95 percent polyester and five percent elastane elastane yeah so and i only paid what did i pay for this uh three dollars and 78 cents i love it i can't wait to wear it all right guys well that was my team you haul and i hope you like the stuff that i got i liked everything except for this yeah don't buy this don't buy this if you <laughs> this is i'm so disappointed it is so cheaply made for that price mm, no all right guys well i'm going to get off here and i hope everybody has a good rest of your day and until next time as always everybody take care and take care of each other Bye, guys.